Okay, I'm gonna start mezzos up. Roger. <clears throat> What? Pump. He said I could see the jet pump. Band deck, Atalanta's in the water. Copy. Sometimes you can see the USPL if it's um, if it's clear enough. Ready to go down? Going down. Diving. I'm going to start pinging here. <clears throat> it's SSV 1505. Audio slate for Hotel 1983, UTC time 163550. Philly, man. Got Atalanta waiting on Hercules for the ping. You guys ready for dive? Dive yeah. salvo? Yeah. yeah. There you go. You got Hercules on nav. I'm just going to continue with the ship move at the moment because we have the tall moorings down here. We'll just be, we'll approach from the north um, going to the south. Dave, correct me if I'm wrong, but we should zero our wraps now, right? Uh, no, you're good. You should have half. Yeah. No, I, I you come, we, we come in and out with half a wrap, don't we? Okay. Uh, if, if that's a new thing, this cruise, yes. I, okay. I don't. Okay, go ahead and zero it then, as long as you're happy. Happy. Can Should you turn on my lights, please, Dave? Uh, we got to zero both. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, can't, see. Wraps. can't see. Turn on your lights. <laughs> there we go. Right. Am I going too fast or too slow? Uh, you're you're lower, but just by twenty, you're okay at the moment. Yeah, they're only going down at 13 meters a minute, mate. Oh. You can it's okay. Just string out. I'm strong. We're stay good. Stay there. Wait for them. You're 23 now. Roger, roger. I feel like... Just take your, increasing? take your dimes off. On? I d oh, right. Mm -hmm. Stick lock. That's the thing. <laughs> Thank you. Can't stay in the direction going the wrong way. No. Counterclockwise? There we go. But the other one's going the wrong way. Oh, the other one's going the other way. What the heck? <laughs> who, who would do such a thing? Who would do that? I gotta have them be at the same, yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Except for they spin at different speeds. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. I am not smart. <laughs> Blanket statement. <laughs> yep, that was it. Okay, going down again.
You're upset because it's quiet, I can tell. So when we reach 100 meters, could we uh, square up the focus best we can of the field of view? Yeah, we'll set up for the uh, lasers on. After we get to 75 meters, we'll set up for the transect. Yeah. Are we doing there transect? Is, there is no transect. There is uh, none? I don't, no. no, 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 who knows? There's one in the dive you know. plan. Se because says in the dive said plan. on deck just before we left, uh, Megan yeah. said just before we left the deck, the transects have been scrubbed for this time. Deck, okay. Confirm that with whoever you need to before we move on. Copy that, I'll stop 75. Right. We can hold here until you've got confirmation. Yeah. Just give it a little bump so I know we have the... Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep, I got it. Okay. Okay, uh, control van has control of the winch. Oh, thanks, man. Sean just wants to confirm that there's no transects. All right. That's all right. Transect or not? Yep. Full pull. Yes, transect? No, no. transect. No Thank transect. Headset. Me? What's no, up? I don't no, know who it is. Somebody. <laughs> oh, Trevor, that was so funny. Get out of my mind. Bridge now. Right. I'm going to keep coming and catch you up as soon as you've just gone. Uh, we will continue this ship the move. I'll let you know when to hold, so we'll continue as is. Thank you. Thank you. It's enough out of you. Check one, two, three. Good. Um, so we have tall moorings down here in the south. I don't know which one's 500 and which, which two are 100, but I can double check on that. Um, so I'm just staging us north, so we'll approach. But... Um, just know that as we get to depth, don't don't be pulling too hard towards them, or we'll end up down there. Um, just so we can approach them. We are in the north, and we're vertical. Yeah, we are. We launch them from the surface, and then they go down to the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. As a Would you like to go back outside and start again, Trevor? It would make sense to find them at the top and follow them down. They would make sense to find them at the top and follow them down. Yeah? Are they? To be honest, coming at it from here, it depends on currents when you get down there. If you're coming from the south into it, you've got more avenues to get out of the way easily. Coming from here, you're panning, you're, you're starting to pan yourself in, especially if you're going for the middle one. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the distance between the three of the brown? 
Okay. No. <sighs> Renato, you have the most expressive size. I could like clip an entire library of rent. Do you get size. another size? Yeah. Really, really quiet. When uh, what what? Be uh, grateful. Yeah. When did you get me oh, signed? Here, yeah. And you're, you're uh, just now. You're boosted quite mm -hmm. high yeah. in here. Uh, uh, check test. I'm good here. Yeah. Good that's there. Oh, yeah, I, I I'm suspect. Good. So yeah. turn turn down video on uh, on your panel. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> yeah. You just go left with it. it check could, check check. Could be One that it was two set to test. Somebody. Yeah. I just reset them all. I think. Or at least I thought I did. All right. Greetings from the control van to everybody tuning in. Um, we are aware that two of the feeds are currently down. It's actually not an issue on the ship. Uh, we've got our web folks working on it right now. So, uh, You know, while we're down, though, I'm going to put uh, the Herc open caption on feed three. Capiche? Sounds good. Just have to somehow get notified when that's working again. So, if the viewer could check that occasionally, that'd be super helpful. I'm sure there will be plenty of notification. <laughs> so, during this dive, we're going to a depth of 2,658 meters. We are not doing the video surveys, but we are going to recover a mooring and swap out a hydrophone array. Sorry, we're not doing the hydrophone array. Oh, we're not doing the hydrophone array. Yeah. Okay, so are I we just doing the mooring? What's the latest? You might not, this isn't a very reliable dive plan. Okay, this, never mind. There are actually two dive plans. I will plans. stop looking at the dive plan. <laughs> um, we need to print off the right dive plans. Okay. So. So they what do, are, do you want to tell me what we're doing during mostly, this time? Mostly just uh, surveying this mooring, which is a quite a substantial mooring. It's 500 meters tall. Wow. Um, and yeah, we're going to disconnect it. The power is already off. Um, so we'll get that all disconnected and we'll bring it up to the surface. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, ops on, on the aft deck later to try and reel that in. And this is called a straw bee mooring? Straw bee mooring. Is that, I assume that's an acronym? Yes, but please don't ask me what it All stands right. for. Never uh, mind. Not too sure. <laughs> I'll wait for uh, Megan to come up. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. There. <laughs>
Can you put two six five six in the in that bottom depth thing? Nice. Just any old number, Trevor will just throw in there. Yeah. The other day that really that really threw you off. Yeah. I trusted the calc too much. Really put some gunk in your horseshoes. That's a phrase that is common. Yeah, I hear that all the time now. That's what the kids are saying. Yeah. Put some gunk in your horseshoes. It's actually a line from a 1958 movie called Tall Saddles. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hard buddy, I got hard buddied. You got hard buddied? Yeah, but in a weird context. Mm. It's like a pool out there. I know. It's quite flat. Just add ship. What? Um, we're missing a sh uh, uh, boat friend of ours. So how fast are we going down? 30, great. Well, I think uh, they'll take us 70 minutes to get down there. Nailed at 30. Yeah. 30 and 
Nice. 3430. 3430. No, not 4. 34, FOR. 3430. 30. Oh, you mean like ESPN? Yeah, that's what not, I was Okay, for. got it. Yeah. That took us way too long to get to. Yeah, it's okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be so hard on ourselves. I know. We don't normally talk sports in the van. Ed, I just got a message wanna... saying all four <laughs> no, video feeds are solid now, so Sweet. that's good. Go back to okay. our normal. We will Configuration. Okay, Glad that's all sorted. Scheduled programming. No, I don't. Blue, blue, and us. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's funny. That's a funny I bit. I don't. That's a good bit. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it seems to be Trevor. I'm sorry. We're in red mode right now. Okay. Uh, we're Thank you. Not <laughs> uh, nice. Seems to be. Uh, no. no. Oh. Ah. Uh, that <laughs> no. Go. Go. Die, it burns. Ah, so cool. Thank calm. you. Oh. <gasps> Fresh off the press. <sighs> yeah. It's warm. <laughs> oh, this. There's some big words on there. <laughs> I don't know if you can handle it. <laughs> All right, we've just been handed a new dive plan. So this what just we are in. actually doing during this dive is surveying, sampling, and recovering a straw bee mooring. That's right. Collecting Niskin water samples, conducting a vertical midwater video survey, survey, okay. and recovering larval traps if we have enough time. And again, we're going. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> So the dive uh, plan's still wrong? I'm not seeing the transect <coughs> in the uh, actual dive plan. All right, during this dive, we're going to do some stuff, <laughs> and it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, mainly we will be popping this morning. And picking and up the arval traps. Arval. <laughs> the arval. <coughs> blue mode. I, th I like the blue mode for yeah. bl blue water. We, you know? No, I think yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. I think this should And then you really hone in at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You think we can make purple? For what? <laughs> I've red, got red. red and oh, you blue. mean like a transition? Yeah, look at that. Purple and then. <laughs> it's pr that's a pretty soft purple. But how about there? I, I'm not. Maybe if I was sitting there. Yeah. I like where your head's at, but I think okay. you're reaching a bit. Okay, I'll just sit here and read the dive plan that was given to me specifically. <laughs> By who? You ha you handed it to me, but on, on behalf of someone else. Yeah, but just like, you know, the big salad, I'm taking credit. <laughs> <laughs> have you... Su have you... Have you oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Lasers. Um... Have you have you seen the release mechanism? Uh, in person, not via picture. Really milking the fact that you installed this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, on up at the surface. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Yeah, I held it in my hands. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> okay. So you just pull that chain. Cool. Honestly, I, I, it was a couple of years ago, so I forget. Okay, well, I can show it to you in purple. I would love to. In per purple or person? In per <laughs> <laughs> we, we already need to lock it up. <laughs> lock are you, you going to show it to me? No. I'm not gonna show it there you go. Me. I think you just pull that. Out of here? No. Out of here somewhere? Or does it stick in here? Sticks in I here think it's, da it's dangly. No. Is that the thing you grab and pull? Is it? I think That's so. That's not the pin itself? I don't know. Well, <laughs> we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> Productive conversation. Good, good, good. Good, good, good great. Let's see if we see any cool not sharks. Oh, that's not a shark. No. Did you say, wait, what did you say? Yeah, not sharks. Because we saw a, a large fish the other day that wasn't a shark, but we thought it was a shark. 
So everything that's not a shark, we're calling not sharks. That's yeah, not shark. <laughs> this is a really easy game. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do it, might as well do it. Pretend we're just doing it really fast. They just yeah, it's a ver it is a vertical transect. Yeah, they just slow the video down to <coughs> ten meters a minute. That's right. Thirty, forty. So we're ranged out on Herc. Okay. Excellent. So 500 off the deck is 2156. So around. Right? Because we're at 2656. 2156 is when we're going to stare at the mezzo. No, you slow down. This is not calibrated. That's what you're... No, it's not. <laughs> Everything Trevor said is just gospel? Your different fight? <laughs> the same speed I've been doing the entire time. But it has been. <laughs> How do we not have a magnet? Like a thing back there. We have a crotch cam? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Brilliant. Put it under there. Yeah, I want to see it up here. Somebody picks it up. Where am I? Where are we seeing this? The crotch cam is up No, where am I seeing the feed from it, though? Can we put it up on all the screens? It's all that's important right now. No, don't put it up. Right. <laughs> that's all the screen. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I gotta look cooler. Oh, I gotta, I gotta look pretend cool. I'm let's doing something. Let's look cooler. Uh, <laughs> we should just tape, yeah, tape it there so you can't. Because tape's not possible to remove. Glue it? I don't know, man. <laughs> it, was, it was a joke. <laughs> Do my bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always thinking. Oh, like, yeah, back there, if you put it behind the monitor facing up. Yeah. All right. That'd yes, we are aware that channels one and two are down. <coughs> Thank oh. you for the so comments. Is that, is that the quad? We are working on it. Quad is up. <coughs> I thought they were all happy again is Justin awake yet I don't know I'm awake I've not seen him I know it's 10 a.m. he's probably in his fishbowl well yeah uh, we're, hold we'll on, get it, we're gonna get it and I come down there I'm just not sure if I can call him yeah 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 <sighs> how does his do, phone do, do. ring mine <laughs> Oh, the calculator went off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assign the uh, president of the corporation to address that issue immediately. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the president of the organization answers with the calculator. Someone's calling me on the red calculator. Let me just dial that in. Yeah. Yeah, it's not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're five. We're five years old.
Well, exhausted the calculator bits for the day. <laughs> <laughs> what else do I have what in front else of me? We got it in sight. Uh, uh, need more toys. I'm going to do a dramatic reading of the what we're doing when we're down there. That was going to be productive. Can we, sh can we read one line <laughs> can each? I, can I do a dramatic reading of the commentary I've been getting <laughs> from viewers? We, we, <laughs> <laughs> we can't see. <laughs> we can't see. Right, but it's going to be yeah, an ad lib. We're just going to replace the word down with goose. <laughs> Channel Chocolate. one and two still dark. Still not getting channel one, two, dark, tried reloading, etc. Channels one and two are still down. We are working on it. Just channel be one through patient, two working now. Please. <laughs> okay. I just got an official report from Tim on shore. As of now, channels one and two should be back. Any further problems are unexpected and should be reported again. Okay. I'm going to check it out right now. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that was the quickest 180 I've ever seen. <laughs> you gotta, better keep up. <laughs> There's a lot going on up here. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tim, for working that problem from shore. Nice. Getting us online and fully functional. Nice. Nice. I bet it was a cool bite thing I was telling you about. Not get up there. There we go. He hasn't calibrated his stick. Yeah. Okay. I think well, that stick has a better chance of staying, especially in the off season, when it's in that back corner to your right. But yeah, that's usually there. where I keep it. Yeah. I don't know somebody what happened. Maybe they used it on the uh, Nat Geo legs last year. The aquatic stick of pointing. Yeah. Yeah, we tried lasers at one point, but those don't work no. on screens. No, they bounce right back at somebody. Right. And do you know if we have any more of these units here? No, but I okay. ordered those. Uh, I could yeah. get more. I'll check in the. I'll check in the uh, data lab. I thought there were, there might have been a box of them or something. Mm. Do you need more? <clears throat> I just need one. <laughs> monitor cabin you want to monitor your cabin temperature yeah no not the temperature the humidity you want to monitor your you cabin must be in 79 I'm in 79 <laughs> yeah typically humid place yep what is monitoring it gonna do for you Just keep data data oh. <laughs> okay You're not wrong. Let's give you a report at the end. Everybody gets a report. Everybody gets a report. Humidity. Yep. It goes on your permanent record. Yeah. You're talking, of course, about the Thermo Pro TP55. Yeah, I thought that was implied. <laughs> hey, didn't we? We didn't visit the cork last night. Yeah, we did. I thought 
Did we go up to uh, it? After our watch. Uh. They were trying to de decode the cork uh, backronym as well. Mm. I'm surprised. I just don't see a noticeable difference in the van shot with the blue versus the red light. Noticeable difference in, in a certain camera? It just, yeah, no, it just, yeah, the camera at the back of the van behind the SCF, that light doesn't have a huge effect. It's just a little. <coughs> I mean, you're not a complete silhouette. I guess that's the point. See what the current is. What's the current? Current. 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 At the surface is pretty negligible. Point two it says it's going west. So those bead bags that they dropped last night, with the beacon on them. Yeah. They moved in the upper part of the water column, yeah. fifty meters. Yeah. That's what I hear. That's <coughs> crazy. Must be, well, I mean, I don't know, it's pretty high up latitude-wise, but in some, in, in lower latitudes, there's typically high currents just between, like, 50 and 150 right. meters. Well, they didn't take into account the Earth's rotation, so when mm -hmm. right, the bag yeah, was just dropping, the of time. Earth rotated a little bit. Yeah. Duh. <coughs> we should launch them from the bottom next time up to the top. Right. <laughs> That's like trying to parachute out of somewhere. Yeah. I'm gonna parachute out of the jungle. <coughs> that was like when Lauren came into the ROV shop today and they pointed out the candies, and I said, yeah, take whatever you want, but don't take anything. Hmm. <coughs> I screwed that up. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It in a more funny way. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. I said, help yourself. Yeah. And I said, but now it's ruined. There's no coming back. Do you, uh, do you often give mixed signals? Uh, Maybe. If you talk to anybody that knows me. Yeah, okay. This is getting too interesting. Yeah, do you need the right light, red light on? Because the <laughs> is the blue bringing you down. <laughs> I told you, enemy of happiness. Do you do? See what happens if you do a little less forward, maybe. What's wrong with it? You don't like it? Well, well, I don't want to. Well, you are a big guy or the friggin' navigator. Well. That was actually the, the, one of the first things you said to me, Josh, when when uh, in 2017. Yes. You're like, what are you? Oh, that was like over? one of the first things <laughs> yeah. I ever said. At I what didn't time? Know you at all. Yeah. You were like, what the heck is this guy talking about <laughs> over there? Uh, no, it's fine. I could. Um, I just don't. As we approach depth, I don't want to be stretched closer to this stuff. Totally fair. But I could. I could adjust that. I'll adjust it. So. But then I don't want to back up and then have to, you know. Put right. Um, around 1,500 meters, I'll take some forward off. Okay. What's that? Sounds good. Just because we got this perfect number of descent right now. Yeah, don't don't mess with it. Mm -mm. I like where your head's at. He's just trying to nav navigate us into a safe space, Dave. I know. And why are you giving him grief? It's I'm okay. Not, I'm, I'm used to the question. I'm used to getting grief. That's my job is absorb grief. Mine's abuse. It's just ab abuse from Herc pilots. <laughs> I haven't given you any uh, yet. No, not yet. No. 
Which means he must be doing a reasonable job. Yeah. Or I, can, I mean, I can mess things up <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I mean, we can work on that. <laughs> Got two floats at the top. Yeah, it's two of those big fellas in it. Yeah. One wasn't enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are they spaced so you do Is that two AJ different? Just turned up? Yeah, each is there. Surprise! Yeah, been listening all well. along. Are they spaced for two picks, or you get you get them both in one? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. What percent sure are you? Zero. Zero percent. That's super unsure. It'll either be one or the other. I think they're Why? pretty tight together. I think it's a single pick. RJ lives in a world of binary sureness. Yeah, no kidding. That's tough. The mooring diagram I received did not show the measurement between the floats. Yeah, I see. That's the one here. Yeah. yeah. But I was there, so I can tell you. Yeah, Josh was there. Yeah, Josh. You were there. You was la there. laid hands on him. I touched him. And? That's what how are the floats spaced? <laughs> yeah, how are the floats spaced? <laughs> uh, 36 hands. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, because that's the only yeah, way you can measure. That's the only way I can measure. It. <laughs> Yours or Dirk's? <laughs> no, come on. Fine. I put my hands on it. Oh, okay. Oh, he's getting mad, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Were you questioning the fact that I touched it? <laughs> Are you? Did you say I'm not there? I wasn't there. Are you saying I wasn't there? <laughs> Touched it. <laughs> One day that's gonna demagnetize and swing. Hit Jake in the head because he's that tall. Because <laughs> uh, he's tall, yeah. Right when he's doing this with the arm. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty funny. That's fantastic. I'm always tempted to just like DB Cooper you guys and just I'm out. <laughs> Parachute. That's a dated reference. Yeah. What people don't know about DB Cooper? No, nope, I don't. No. He was a he was a guy who was in an airplane. And uh, that narrows it down. <laughs> and he well, let me finish. <laughs> he, there was like a a robbery at altitude, and he stole a bunch of money and jumped out of the plane. Uh, or otherwise known as a hijacking. No. Yeah, but he didn't really he hijack didn't, the plane. He, no, that's a he hijacked the money. He hijacked well, no, the they money. landed and he got the money. In no, he jumped money? out. No, but what do you mean? there was no money in the plane. It was a passenger flight. He took it over. I think they landed in Portland or somewhere. They delivered the money to him. No, we're thinking of two different stories. Are we talking about a real person? DB Cooper. DB Cooper. Yep. Jumped out of the plane with the money, and they never found him. That's true, but the precursor is Par not. parachute. He didn't just wander onto a plane that was full of money. Oh, okay. You're talking about beforehand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there were I don't two recall that part. 
plane related DB Cooper events. Yeah, that could be two it. Two separate flights. So that One. sounds like you're 0% sure about it. <laughs> His well, Google results are not. Other, so. But yeah, they never they never found him. There was some talks that maybe they found some of the money. Yeah. But they were basically like, this is a professional job, but they were questioning it because he chose the lesser of two parachutes. He jumped out in a place that he shouldn't have. And yeah. Yeah, they never, none of the money that they ever found it in circulation, I don't think. No, it was found downstream by some kids. Yeah. They found the money? A little bit of it. Some some of it, yeah. So it's a mystery. Never knew who it was. They think it might have been a guy who worked at Boeing mm. and had military experience, I think. So they don't know who it is? Nope. So they just gave him a name, D.B. Cooper? That's how like? we bought the ticket. Oh. Uh, under a pseudonym. Yeah, I think so. This is back uh, when hijackings were not uncommon 60s the was it people 70 uh, 71 71 um yeah so they yeah uh, he took over the flight just by saying something and then they landed in seattle they gave him 200k i think uh, yeah that's the part i was missing that makes much more sense that there wasn't just a bunch of money on the plane yeah and then uh was it 1980 they found a little bit of the money forty five minutes to the bottom but I think it'll get more exciting beforehand because we're gonna try to locate the mooring on the way down That is exciting. Yeah. There are three of them. Hazards. Roger. Yeah, we have the two western ones are 150 meters uh, height off the bottom, and then the, the one that we're after is 500. Is that right? Something like that. He's not sure. No, sorry. I got distracted. Well, You're good. correct. Yep. You have it right. So this is the 500 one, and that's the one we're after. Renny, you're the arbiter of truth. Why would I even think to correct you? Truth arbiter. I was trying to work on a Dennis joke about arbiter of tooth, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm so close, but I'm, I can't make it funny. I'll get there. It's just got to be, I think it's the setup. I'm not even sure how you're close. There's got to be a setup about dental surgery and, a, and an opinion about what looks good and doesn't. And it's like, what are you, the arbiter of tooth, you know? Do you need a setup guy? Yeah. You're working it out. I I'm like working that you're it working out. it yeah, out. Yeah, workshop and the Arbiter of Two. Thanks. Now everybody knows. I shouldn't have said it out loud. It would have it would have been like so killer if I just if it seemed like I just pulled it out of thin air. But yeah, just wait years for somebody yeah. to bring out some. Everything I say has been pre-planned. Trying to get prior. you to say this is like pulling teeth, dude. What was that? Oh. Huh? No, I actually can't hear you. What, what, yeah, what, it was a good one. It was good. Uh -huh. What did he say? I can't, he's going to have to repeat it. Getting you to say this joke is like pulling teeth. Oh. oh that was not. That was. Is that Trevor at the chart table? Yeah. I don't, I'm not charting anything. Uh, we got some, some facts from P1 scientist Rob Halliday. D.B. Cooper both landed the plane to get the money and jumped out of it. Got it. And it's the only unsolved case of air piracy. Oh, I didn't know it was the only one. Hold on, hold on. How can you jump out of a plane that you also land? They landed it. Got the money. He took off again. Jumped out of it. So. Uh, yeah, I think it was a 707, 727 up, and up until I think the MD-80 might have been the last modern plane made that had uh, stairs at the back. You could drop stairs out the by the tail cone, mm. and that's how he got out. Ah. Jump from there, but like right over a forest. Yeah, area. it was like a heavy at forested night. area at night. In 1971, it's not like he was wearing night vision goggles or anything. He sounds like a baller. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> sounds pretty cool. I want to meet this <laughs> D.B. Cooper. <laughs> but yeah, they just have like a sketch of him. That's it. Right. No cameras, nothing. That area also got wiped out with the Mount St. Helens eruption. Oh, was it? 
Yeah. I didn't know that part. So he's uh, he's probably in that? the hummocks somewhere. That's a, that's crazy. He's this guy's planned for everything. Yeah. Yeah. He knew it. Volcanic eruption. He knew he'd be buried in a hummock hummocky landscape. <laughs> Call it back. You got your suction sampler all ready to go? What? Suction sampler? I know you do. We do. Good. Good, good. So what is the thought process of uh, doing the suction sampling here rather than when we bring it up to the service? Um, well, I think on its way up, mm -hmm. some of the loose detritus will be shed. Yeah. Um, I think that's the main reason. I wonder if also they're just worried that like handling on deck we yeah. might affect it as well. Yeah. But I imagine pausing to s scrape something off a sphere is probably <coughs> frowned I don't, upon in deck world. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what they're exactly going to do with it so they might want it preserved in seawater like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as opposed to us like scraping it off yeah you're right but I think we are I think we we might also be sampling the top of each sphere on deck I can't remember Fabio's got the mm. procedures <coughs> And then there's two specific ones that they want. Is it because Just those sensors are biofouled um, via, like, you, you can tell that there's something wrong with them from your cable network? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's that or if they're just picking kind of the lower one and the higher one to get mm -hmm. two very distinct water column measurements. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, I see. Part I don't the think top. the lower one, I don't think they uh, got data from. So mm -hmm. I'm, they, they don't, I don't think they know anything particular about it. Um. This mooring is a, is a test for the one we were talking about, right? Partially, partially. yeah. Partially a test, partially also like a... Uh, it, it's the same project. Yes, if that's what you mean. Yeah. But it's like they call it a pathfinder. So a lot of it was quantifying um, the water properties so that they could uh, like determine whether it's a suitable location for a neutrino telescope. And so I guess help. Scout. Yeah, it's a scout. All three of these are scouting nice. uh, projects for the upcoming Pacific Ocean Neutrino Experiment. And... Um, Yeah, and it, it helps, it feeds into their design, right? If they know like the, the wavelengths, these are called straw, which is string absorption wavelength in water. In water. Straw, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do this. I, just, I was just looking at the wavelength. acronym. Yeah. In water, B. Straw, that's Strawberry. Right. Strawberry. Um, yeah, because I think it's really important that they know what the, the wave length oh, I'm gonna butcher it but you know what I mean the light properties how wavelengths attenuate in at the this, water at this particular location. yeah and yeah. bioluminescence right they're always trying to monitor bioluminescence in order to figure out how they're going to filter that light out of the telescope in order to differentiate between what's a bioluminescent event and what's a neutrino mm -hmm. What is a neutrino?
The main goal of Straw B is to validate the attenuation length already measured by Straw and to add new information on the background characterization with the study of the deep sea diffused light spectrum. So does that attenuation change with as the water properties change, just like the speed of sound, the sound velocity changes? Or is that kind of more constant? It's a really good question. Yeah. It is a good question. Underwater physics? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if Rob on shore knows. Because, you know, like, yeah, like we see obviously like more f temperature fluctuation at the surface and salinity differences, and we have models for and measurements for sound velocity, but I wonder if those do or do not affect. muon attenuation. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if anyone from the P1 collaboration pipes in, because I don't know the answer to that. Is that a UVIC ONC initiative? It's not. It's not. Um, the I think the project was started by the Technical University of Munich. Oh, cool. Um, that's where a lot of the scientists come from, but mm -hmm. it's grown. It has a lot of Canadian collaborators, uh, University of Alberta, uh, Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, um, Queen's University in Kingston, and then also Michigan State University. Uh, we've got collaborators at the um, Institute of Nuclear Physics in Poland. Wow. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some. Yeah, far and wide. Far and wide, yeah. We have a quick ROV question. Oh, good. <laughs> Josh has a quick ROV answer. What is the maximum distance Herc can be from Atalanta? Huh. Oh, no. That's a good question. We do our... Well, I mean, if they were at the same depth, it's the length of the tether, the tether which the right now tether? is 50 meters, 50 I believe, meters. five zero. Uh, I believe but she said it was for the pilots at the question. But <laughs> here's the question. <laughs> How long of a tether could you put on? Hey, infinite. How long of a tether can you make? Well, I worked with one that was a kilometer once. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. On a vehicle? Like a tether yep. TMS one? A caged, yeah. yeah. Cool. Me too. Yeah, that's a long one. Wouldn't that make HD's Rennie's job just meter tether in the TMS. possible? That's a big one. Um, this... This vehicle has a fixed length, 50 meter tether. Usually it's 30 meters. For Ocean Hours Canada work, it's 50. Why is it longer for this? Um, Cause? Because Ocean Networks Canada. Wait, come up. Wants a longer tether. <laughs> well, I mean, well, part of it Big is navigating in the ve vents. Yeah, is working around the hydrothermal vents. So when we have the height of the hydrothermal vents, if we had a shorter tether, then that means we have to put our, our um, secondary ROV uh, kind of closer to those vents and potentially uh, play pinball with it, which we don't want to do. It also helps with the two-wire stuff. We can go boom out all the way on the second crane, try to get as far away, as much separation and yeah. as we can, and then it, it's helpful having a longer tether. And then we've also it. used it for cable laying as well. Um, um, having the longer tether. Yeah. The ship. Uh, Sorry, what? Bigger ship distance? Um, yeah, we can drag Atalanta. So your distance between your 6 8 cable and the cable that the two cables that are in the water column can be slightly further apart. But I mean, it's only by 20 yeah, meters, but the, but, the, but the angle, yeah. Um, at least you, usually what we do is we stretch. Hercules out and pull Argus so they're kind of tail to tail 
and we just stretch as far as we can. I think at certain depths we can pull like 400 meters away from the ship or something. You can pull it quite a quite a ways away. Um, but yeah, I'd say largely the vents. We got a partial answer on the optical properties. Cool. Not sure about temperature, but they probably do vary in water column. Um, as different ocean properties change, like algal blooms, or I guess like probably biogeochemistry. Yeah. Because I guess it's a medium that's transporting light. So I guess if there's more plankton or anything like that in the water, it would change the, the optical properties. Mm. So I guess that they are able to monitor that better over time, those variations, uh, using straw rather than choosing a constant yeah yeah that's right or at least now that they've had straw for the years that they have they can help sort of develop the algorithms that will be able to filter that out numerically like mm -hmm. the the p1 sensors are really going to just be largely like photomultiplier tubes and uh so it's going to see everything and then i think what they have to figure out is how to determine what's a neutrino and what's an algal bloom or, or where the neutrino is, if there's an algal bloom, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Your heading's getting wonky. I know, I'm watching it. Roger. I guess we need the forward way more than... No, I can just put a tiny bit on and then turn turn a bit and hit auto head instead. Yeah, yeah. As long as we don't get too close to Atalanta, it's fine. We've confirmed powers off to everything neutrino related. Yeah, J9 and J8, I believe, are off. Beauty. Did you want to stop by the IP on the way? Um, I see that's kind of in there. And are we recovering larval traps? Uh, yeah. It's in there. Let's do it. Okay. I get my marching orders from the dive plan. We have a beacon in the starboard bio. Did we find last night that we could fit a beacon in two larval traps? Uh, is it wide enough for... Did yeah, we definitely had a beacon and two larval traps on our ascent. Okay. Yeah, so if you get the larval traps buried in, but also the beacon can come on the porch because yeah. we're going we're gonna to go clip it. it onto the mooring anyways. Yeah. And uh, I guess you just need the suction sampler, but the beacon can clip, clip on at the bottom of the mooring before we get the suction sampler out. So you can even just keep the beacon in the craft. Did you end up having, could you fit the pink hook at the at the bail on that hydrophone? Yeah, or yeah, oh, no really? problem. Nice. Yeah. It was a little bit tricky, I think, for the deck recovery, just fitting, uh, like, you, the way that Mike likes to recover it, he puts just, like, a lifting strap also through the lifting hook and ties it off to deck so right. that he can release the pink hook and then bring in the ship's crane. And... Uh, and there wasn't a lot of extra room once that pink oh yeah. was in there for him to kind of like. Was that steel cable through. still there? The steel cable was still there, but if he hooked into that, it was oh, just choked. It would, get, it would choke the, yeah. If he hooked into that, it would drop the whole thing down too far to then hook it in with the ship's crane. And yeah. Anyways, you get the gist. Crane math. Crane math. It's the worst kind of math. <laughs> Hey, AJ, have you been on any vessels that go into the graving dock? Have, have I? Yeah. I don't know what the graving dock is. Uh, do you know how to pronounce the uh, part of Victoria that starts with E-S-Q? Esquimalt. Esquimalt. Esquampton. Esquimalt. I've never been over there. on a ship the one in over Esquimalt. There. Okay. Just curious. No. There's a, gr there's a graving dock? Yeah. What does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. It's a, I think it's, I don't know. 
I bet uh, Dave knows. Dave, you heard the term graving dock before? Nope. Huh. Grading, like? It's graving, like G-R-A-V-I-N-G. Z. Nope, not a clue. Like, Gra never heard like gravy. It. Graving. Oh, a dock made of gravy? Yeah, that'd be nuts, because they're two different liquids. It's like right? a poutine dock. <laughs> That's the actual name of it. Largest non-military hard bottom dry dock on the west coast of the Americas. Hmm. I like seeing, I take a, I ride my bike into town a lot and along the path, a very common bike yeah. path in I Victoria. That's oh, okay. There's I'll a Point Hope shipyard, which always has boats in dry dock that you can see from the, from the bike path and it's always a lot of fun. Uh, here you go. A graving dock and a dry dock are similar. However, graving docks are box shaped, whereas older dry docks are often ship shaped. They're pointed at the ends. Seems kind of like splitting hairs. But yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like there needs to be a distinction. That's a hipster term for a uh, dry dock. Hmm. Graving dock. The graving dock. Ed, were you playing around back here on my telestrator? Uh, <laughs> what, is it broken? No, the menu's just open. There's a tangent. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, but I did I did oh, an experiment close, earlier. I'll close the menu. Are you sure yeah. you want to exit? Do you exit? not have I, enough arrows? Oh. <laughs> no, I closed the whole thing. Let's open that again. Yeah, it says you're disconnected here. Now you're connected. I thought I was just trying to close the menu. There we go. Arrow test. Wonderful. Oh, right. Dead on in the center of the lasers, too. The uh, issue is some people have been known to load toolbars back there that aren't uh, really what we're looking for for professional use. Oh, and so I found a way to undo that from here. It's probably come in handy in a couple legs. Don't give me too many ideas. Now I gotta look up Telestrator Toolbars. Oh. Telestratortoolbars.com. <laughs> So we have almost 100 people watching us descend through the blue water right now. But yeah. I have not gotten any questions. So the anticipation. Since people 21 minutes ago. Just 100 here. neutrino scientists. Okay. We have 100 neutrino scientists. That's all of them. <laughs> yeah. we, they don't have any questions for us. That's They're for all sure. there. Yeah, they, they know everything they know that we everything. could provide for yeah. them. That looks like the uh, graving dock at Esquimalt. Esquimalt? Esquimalt, you got it. Esquimalt. Uh, can host cruise ships. That's pretty crazy. That's a big dock. I, I never go to Esquimalt. I'm sure it's very nice. Wow. That's huge. There's about 3,500 people who work there or are employed in high school jobs at. Uh, Man, that's massive. Why are you looking this up at? Is this where the strike is? No, 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 nothing. It's, uh, I was trying to, uh, I was talking about it the other day, and I kind of figured out how to pronounce this Squimalt. Okay, we have a question. You guys ready? Yep. That didn't take long. How is everyone doing? Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's a toughie. Uh, this far into the trip, I'm ready for bed. No, um, I'm pretty tired. I'm literally asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the blue light. So nice. Could be the blue light. Well. We had this discussion yesterday. Oh, oh. no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. no. Is that the intermediate one, or are you just torturing us? Do you have to go through that one that every one time? That one burns my eyes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. We're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> I was asked if I today if I missed land, mm. and I and I said I I didn't. That when the ocean is like this, I could be out here for a long time. That I missed my house. Yeah, there are other things I miss, but not land in particular. I like sailing back into um, 
British Columbia area because you get the pine tree smell. Yeah. Right, I, right as you pull in. I used to notice that landing, like in Victoria Airport. Mm -hmm. There's certain seasons, there's a very strong smell if you're coming from other places. Yeah, I miss walking on land, mm. but uh, it's pretty beautiful out here right now. Yeah, it's a nice day. All right, AJ, what are the plans for when we reach the bottom? Well, we're, we're trying to, we're sort of doing a bit of a, what did you guys call it, a bump dive? Um, bounce. 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 Bounce dive. Bounce dive. Um, we're trying to do a pretty quick dive here because we want to get this mooring up and on deck while we still have daylight hours. So we've sort of got a skeleton of a dive plan here, which really has us just um, going over to this mooring, inspecting it, um, doing a couple of niskins, doing some suction sampling off the mooring so that we can do some biological sampling of the environment around it. Then we're going to release the mooring to the surface, and then we're going to recover. It's going to all happen pretty quick, I think. So we'll bring the ROVs up as soon as we release the mooring? That's right, yeah. We have a similar release on the bottom as we have uh, on those RC moorings that we already released, I guess, just one of uh, earlier this cruise. So this it's going to look a lot like that. We're going to disconnect it from, uh, you know, a, a, co a connector. We call them parking positions, but that doesn't, it's not even the right term. Um, that's mounted on the train wheel to free the mooring from our mm. network infrastructure. Uh, and then once it's freed from our network infrastructure, we can just pull the rip cord and it should, should move pretty quick to the surface. Is it, uh, does it have auxiliary floats or just the spheres themselves? Just the spheres themselves, which are pretty close to neutral mm. in water. I could tell you. Okay. So they won't. It'll just be the two orange floats at the top, not like the string out of floats like the yeah. last ones, the yeah. RCMs. That's correct, yeah. You're good, David. Maybe. Yeah, we have someone tuning in from Munich. Excited nice. to watch you, you recover our mooring line. <laughs> oh, cool. It's exciting. It's a great city. Oh, that's not slower, that's faster. I do like Munich. Yeah. Looks like it's about 400 kilos buoyant once we release the anchors. Oof. That's from a rocket up. That's a lot of buoyancy. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to see what a 500 meter mooring looks like. A lot of chain. About 500 meters Cable. tall. No. Not much chain. It's all wire rope. Wire? Yeah. Is it? It's all about 5 sixteenths wire or 8 mils, as the Germans say. It's not even 8 mil, it's like 8.3 something. I couldn't even use a round metric number. Did I tell you guys I saw it? Hmm? Did I tell you guys that I saw it? You saw yes, Josh, mooring? you deployed the mooring. We know. <laughs> he was there. Couldn't tell me anything about the release mechanism, but insisted that he was there when it was installed. We didn't release it. We just deployed it. The release mechanism is identical to the to the RC moorings release. How's it feel, full circle, putting it down, bringing it up? Not as complete as I thought it would be. Yeah. Well, it's not done yet. Yeah. That's probably why. <laughs> 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 Trick question. We haven't done it yet. Y'all remember the viewer who was making sourdough bread and lemon yeah. cakes. Oh, yeah. Too slow, too slow. Uh, they are here making more bread. Nice. Nice. Uh, I tried staying awake to watch the dive, but I had to cave at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> also wondering, is there a certain length of time the ROVs have to not be diving? I think that's referring to what's like when we bring the ROVs back on deck before we can dive again. What's that turnaround time like? Uh, typically at the very least if we have nothing to change on the rov and no defects to fix maybe two hours but that's really quick generally o ocean networks canada work uh, requires reconfiguration of the rov for different dives so it takes i'd say a minimum of four hours um, and that's again if we have nothing we have to fix uh, and then an actual dive the rov is not limited by anything 
specifically for how long it can dodge. Uh, longest dive Herc's ever done is four days. 76 or so hours. 74. 74? I thought we got a longer one in. No? Uh, I'll, I'll believe I'll believe any number in the 70s. One of my colleagues dove for a whole month with an ROV once. So, you know. yep. what, what was it doing? Uh, they were sitting just looking at a, a it's no longer gas job. They were looking at a valve. Yeah. Um, they basically... Valve watch. I think they made the ROV a bit heavy or put an arm on it, turned off the hydraulics. Yeah. And just turned off almost all the lights and just... Oh, so they, they were heavy then, just knowing they'd have to haul up if they... Right? Uh, or they grabbed on with an arm and they were neutral. Uh, oh, yeah, neutral, yeah. But it was, yeah. A month of looking. Done that as well, off of oil rigs. Yeah. Just, just sit in the TMS for a month. Yeah. Watch the bubbles come out every four hours, go do the bullseye checks on oh, the legs and the BOPs and back into TMS and sit there. Yeah. Wow. Full and month see of the, it. the ROV for maybe 30 minutes per swing. Yeah. Wow. How about I just, I'll speed up, Dave. I'm going to pass it. We would expect to see the mooring in our mezzo shortly. Ooh, so exciting. How far yeah. are we from it? Uh, that's a good question. We, we were 90 out, but let's yes. see no, where we are. Uh, well, which one are we going to? This bottom purple one, yeah, and it's about we're 96 facing. meters away. So it should be in our forward starboard quadrant. Which sonar do you call the mezzo? These, this one's up here, so that's Atalanta on the left and Herc on the right. Normally we have it at 20 meter divisions per red ring on Atalanta and 10 for Herc, but we've ranged out Herc to be 30 meters, so we can see something that's 100 meters away. Meso, Kongsberg, Mesotech. Kongsberg, Mesotech, and, and then the, the Sea one. King, which used to be the Sea Prince. They, they wow. Uh, yeah, I know. Big, yeah. huge upgrade. What happened? Big what up <laughs> that's a promotion. <laughs> what happened to the old king? So uh, that, I guess. Yeah, the no. king didn't make it. <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> Prince got promoted. Does Herc seem slower? Or is it just because I'm anticipating it? Slower? We yeah, hold on. Let me anticipating. Yeah, I'm going to speed it up just so we get to forward. Ooh. Did I do the right one? Nope. Click. Yep. Scan. There we go. Hold on. Now i got to go back down. Was that too slow? It's fine. Uh, well, we're, we're not, you know, we're just facing that way so all the time, so not really. But um, can't you make it a half moon so it's only okay. Yeah, I could do that. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, sector with chasing it. Do that, just in case. It should be 20, let's see. 2156 is when we thought we'd see it. And we're at 2197. Hard to put on with these sonars. That could be it. Is. There you go. Nice. Nice. 30, 60, 90. 90. Yeah. It's far away. It's quite far, yeah. Let's see if it persists with those spheres. just got a question about how deep we're going. We are going to 2,658 meters. Where do you like to be? That's two there. meters That's shallower it. than our other site. That's crazy. Did it? So flat. It is a basin. Wouldn't a basin be like curved? I don't know. Curved on the sides. Maybe we're in the middle of it. We also have a question about why yeah. our nice. diving oh. equipment time displays Sorry. differently from the current time. Why do we use UTC time? Oh, man, that's a great science question. And Ooh. why oh. do we use UTC time? We use UTC time so that anybody using this data can correlate it with other data sources like tide tables, there. other logs, etc., without having to figure out what time humans were calling it at that particular close. location on that but particular day. 
because people have adjusted clocks for convenience yeah. by using daylight time, etc. And so UTC is an absolute time. Uh, it's a format agreed to by an international consortium, which interestingly enough stands for nothing. <laughs> they could not agree on a name for it, so it's a combination of some of the uh, words in French they wanted to use and some of the words in English they wanted to use, but it actually doesn't stand for anything. Um, UTC. Sounds like trouble. And it has a very interesting Wikipedia page if you look at <laughs> trying to figure out what it means. It doesn't stand for anything. Used to be referred to as Greenwich Mean Time. That's the same time zone. Uh, and uh, many computers now will support you setting your time zone to UTC. Uh, and if they don't, you can set your time to Reykjavik in Iceland because they're in the same time zone and they don't adjust their clocks in the summer. And But the reason we use it is so that all the logs uh, that we produce line up with all other scientific data. So if you looked at satellite imagery, uh, you could you know find exactly where we were at a specific time in UTC and you could find a satellite image that shows us exactly there at that time without having to figure out what time the satellite thought it was, what time we think it is. It's just an absolute. And right now we're at UTC minus 7 for our local time, or ship time as we call it. Well said, Ed. Yeah, I think that's we mostly right. Pretty, we must be pretty far west in the Pacific time zone. Yeah. So does that mean... Are days uh, earlier or later in the, like, does the sunrise uh, later? Later. It would, wouldn't it? So it stays light later? Sunsets in the west. Yeah, time zones are, yeah. I mean, if you, if you ignored political divides, it'd be f uh, 15 degrees per time zone. No, it's just good to know because we're recovering a morning this evening. And I've yeah. never been up that late to see the sunset. You're going to stay up for it? What time do you usually go to bed? Three. In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to get into bed for three. Don't always make it. I've seen so a lot of sunrises. From the band. Yeah, from the past few mornings band. have been really beautiful. Yeah, really nice days. Step out of the van and burn your eyeballs. <laughs> We need like a transition zone, Ed, in the van. Like uh, have the lighting change like they do on airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like uh, windows. Or like when you're like entering into the space station from space, you like enter right. a little like hub. Have a light trap. The tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> the tunnel. Yeah, it's about where we expect it to be. It's like showing up as like right here. Are you seeing the other two, or are we not low enough? Um, I don't think we're low enough yet, because those are 150 up, and we are at 2350. And we're going down to, what was it? 2658. Do you have a calculator down there? I do. That's excellent. You can take calls. Just times us everything by a thousand. Yep. It, it, that's the only thing it does. It's a metric calculator. <laughs> do, 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 do. My hat was in the in my bag all along. Oh, mystery solved. I guess the hat's out of the bag now. Nice. <laughs> that was cool, wow. Dad. <laughs> so that was good. So good. And pretty quick too. Yeah. Really well yeah. done. It's not the quality; it's how fast I'm able to say something. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can almost. Imagine your thought process is somewhat like a pachinko ball finding yeah. its way to the bottom. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Um, I have a question for Dave, but I don't know if we have time to get into it right now. We're pretty close, right, Rennie? 2,400. We got four Go minutes. We got four, a few minutes. Okay, yeah. Dave, you ready? <laughs> don't know. I don't know if you even wanted to talk about this on SPL. Well. Uh, this is a <laughs> spicy question. Ooh. Have you or anyone you've worked with ever crashed one of the ROVs uh, and caused serious damage? The video's gone off, cops. <laughs> 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 um, crashed it and caused serious damage? No. Uh, there Good answer. <laughs> No, we, we all found the damage to be hilarious. Where it got severed from the TMS on the way into the TMS. Ah. Um, that was quite interesting. That's That was an error where jo you'll hear Josh say it every now and then, up is down and down is up. Mm -hmm. Where the guy that was operating is used to running a system where the verts work in a particular way. And as he was coming into the TMS on this particular system, he was reminding himself, but then got into a bit of a panic when the TMS came towards him a little bit quicker than normal, and instinct kicked in, and he thrust the wrong way, uh, severed the tether, and the ROV fell. So he was right up against the meters. TMS. Yeah, he's and right just, close. And then, just yeah. about to drop in. Uh, I see. Um, shorted the tether. The res that short blew the tether apart and the ROV fell 82 meters to the seabed. So it was heavy. Yeah, had to be heavy working in the field where mm. we were. And then he said, hey Dave, you want to stand at this winch for a second while I take a break? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had it back on deck in about 12 hours, back in the water. Yeah. About 12, 14 hours after that. Nice. This is a good follow-up question. What's one of the most dangerous things for an ROV, oh. like fishing line and fishing, like abandoned fishing gear and stuff, can yeah. be pretty problematic. Uh, fishing nets, launch line on wrecks. Launch and recovery, I would think, is most dangerous. But yeah, yeah. recovery for sure, especially but when the weather's coming up. Entanglement, for sure. And Hopefully. recovering things from inside the hold of a wreck can mm -hmm. be quite dicey. Yeah, there's usually so many nets caught up in wrecks. Yeah. Lusitania was a nightmare. Was it? Yeah. Were you there with Ballard or a different group? Different. Yeah. Still have that persistent one, and we should be seeing the other ones soon. There you go. There's one. Yeah, could we're getting be close now. Just over 100 meters. To could go. be. Should be two. We'll see. Scan reverse. Unless that was it. It's possible. <laughs> no, that's too far back. Should be. Should be. Yeah. Around there. There, yeah. and then what about, oh. is there one right there? Right. Yeah, I think so. I think this is one here. That would be around. Yeah, there yeah. we go. So we got all three. There we go. All three in visual or in in hearing. <laughs> the, the pilots don't care. No, they don't care. They're just, <laughs> it's just me. I'm just, <laughs> I can tell how excited you are. Right I'm pumped. <laughs> Get to <laughs> move this red line back and forth. <laughs> all the power. Yeah. See them? There's three of them. Qualified? Drunk with See power. That? Am I qualified to drive this thing? Yeah. No. No. Wild man. He's just taking over the controls. What That's else right. did he get his All hands three. on? Which there we one go. Going to? That one right there. This one. The one that one. straighter ahead. Disappear? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> I told you I was qualified. <laughs> now you see it, now you know. <laughs> You're doing great, Rennie. Thanks. Okay, should be approaching 100 off the deck. I'll let you know, and I'll switch over to DVL once we get some beams. Beams? Beams. Bean bags? Beam, beam bags. Beam bags. Beam bags. <laughs> 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 
Next time we're bearing a broadband seismometer, we should bring beads instead of beads. Yeah, that'd be funny if you get to the bottom. It would be a good laugh all around, I think. Cans the RP beans. goes, until cuts we the bag open, dive. and it's just kidney <laughs> it's just beans. Kidney. It's they like, start floating oh, up. Man. He got us. He got us. Oh, do it. Do the dive again. <laughs> Got to recover. 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 It was a. It was a goof. It was a goof. What a good bit, though. Goof dive. <laughs> <laughs> hours and hours. Yeah, hours. Yeah, it takes three hours to descend. <laughs> oh, some interference. You got something on down here? AJ. Uh, I didn't. Hopefully not. Hmm. J10's on. J10. J. What's on J10? J10. Hydrophone array. Do. Dogs always misbehaving. Yeah. Yeah. Hydrophone array. That's just listening, though. That should yeah. be. It's not going to send interference. Tilt meter. Titan. No. There's a cork. We got an altitude of 68 meters. Roger. Okay, I'm going to switch you over to Doppler. Roger. So I do this, and then I'm going to go dead rack. I'm just going to slowly let you come out to about 35. Reset to USBL, and we're heading to the IP first. Always Roger, that'll IP be on. First. That'll be on the way. Yeah. A traditional stopping spot. It's good to inspect it, as all the dive plans say. Visual inspection. You want my blazers off? Full, full, wide. Roger. Triple, full, wide. Deluxe, wide. Ed, are you going to want to white balance? Yeah, if we could. Just yeah, knock right. it out real quick. I think it's probably good for Once the, we get uh, sorted uh, here. For the neutrino scientists as well. Yeah. I'm really good at pressing the one. Good job. Thank you. So... Shall we see what it's like for an ROV to go 30 meters a minute into the bottom? No. No. Okay. I I've have already seen it. I've seen, yeah. <laughs> I have a clip of that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I forgot. Although, it'll just be dusted for like four weeks. <laughs> four weeks. So when it rains, so I'm just going to take it down. Roger. Bring it down to 50. Roger. <coughs> what am I missing here? Is it enabled? No, we're good. Just um, oops. I'll just figure out how to do my job. Nice bottom in sight. We made it. Bunch of sea <coughs> pigs? Um, that winch is not paying out. What's that? I'm gonna go ch I'll go check that. That might um, be a freeze frame. Stand by. Stand by. We still got Blinky in the light. Yeah, the yeah light I'm checking flash. it over here. Yeah, I can still see the camera blinking. Cheers. Roger. What's that? Yeah, I'm not seeing it move That's in winch alt. Yep, that, that yellow light's been on the whole time. Remote. Yeah, that's that's good. It's for you. Let. Yeah, I don't know what Rennie's doing. So is he on radio? Do you take a radio with him? Don't know. He's back. That was quick. Well, we better get Mr. Trevor. Right, I'm try to, I'll try to it's not, yeah, it's not running. Okay. Have you got a radio? Yeah, I just hand him one. 
I have live camera indicators and they're working. Yeah, we can oh, see yeah, the light blinking on blink control. I don't see anything jammed up. Oh, I saw it turn a little. There's something trying to move. Yeah, it's turning a bit. Is he doing that? Or are we... Uh, okay, he just no, no. The light now tr oh. It's turning. No, it stopped turning. No. That's not us? That's not no, commanded that's not input? Me. Roger that. Winch all standby. Desk rack. No, I should have it. 4D. Source cam. Winch all. All right. I'm recording the hold camera now. That's not me. And, um, and I don't want to do anything with it because I don't know where he is. Yeah. Right, that's him picking it up. Hopefully. Tays, well, he was because it's right, switch back to us. And I've got no control. It's all right. Just just watch it. If it runs away, we'll have to press hard stop if it's not him doing it. Okay. Brian? No, I've still got no control from here. Yeah, I know you did. I saw that. But I've got nothing here, mate. I nope. Are these gauges showing what we expect? What gauges? Uh, gauges on the uh, hydraulic unit down there. Oh. Primary pressure, A and B at zero. Yeah, Storage winch pressure, alpha at something. Bravo at zero. Uh, stand by, Ed. Trevor's going in for something to eat. Well, he's got 50 minutes to then, so he should be free. But Rem was able to take control down there and move it. So. Yeah, just I, I came to a stop. Was watching it because we we're just approaching seabed. Went to give him a bit more and nothing. I don't know. Maybe.
ran out of there because I was like, no, oh, that's a new one. It's rare. And then the light was on. I was like, all right. Crazy that it worked the entire way until then. Yeah. Yeah. Roger that. Is he doing four? Yeah, okay. It's okay, she's got the headset and she'll, yeah, we'll be good. It's gonna take me just a sec to get video down to that wind uh, control station, if you guys can give me a second here. Yeah. Um, okay. What do we do? I'm gonna use jot down my uh, numbers. head three. You're doing fine as long as you're not listening to web. If you hit listen here, you'll be on studio. Can you hear me? All I'm hearing is an interaction. Oh, I know. Here, let me fix that. What am I supposed to do? What's my other job? There we go. So the winch is working fine. It's just our ability to control it from in here. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's going to take... Well, what got me is that when I went down there, right, I went to haul in, and the the winch brake, uh, like, let's go for a second. So I, I pulled in to haul in, and it paid out a little bit, which is normal, but it, I was just doing it easy, and I was like, well, this isn't good. I'm pulling in, and it's going out. <laughs> so that tripped me up for a second, but then I, like, actually gave it some beans and was good. like, oh, yeah. yeah you put it right there. That's beans, folks, not beans. Yeah, not beans, beads. not beads. We gave it beans. Are we going to need a ship move? We're going to need a few minutes, Adrian. Yeah, sure. And then, and then we will need a ship move. Uh, yeah. ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> and. Desmond, Mon, Aft. Beep up. Ultimate three. Do, 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 do. Uh, Activate. So they should have a quad down there. It's got words on it, which I'm working to remove. No words. I have no words. Well. On the radio? Do you want to be on one or two? Yep, one. Got it. All right, so quick update for people watching. We are just getting our comp situation reworked so that we can have somebody standing next to the winch. Go for Van. I'm going to do it a little old copy, school. Copy, copy. Stand by for a few minutes while our pilots get situated. We will continue the dive shortly. Hydraulics here. Uh, I, I don't know how long he's gonna need, but you can if you want, just because. Get good. Okay. All right, so they should have video down there that they need. I'll work on the intercom after we get going on this dive. Uh, well, white balance? Yes, sir, arms. Yeah. Out.
I can come up to you. That's, that's good anywhere there. Uh, yeah. I get anywhere there, dude. That's good. Happy. Let me come in and we'll try and uh, get ourselves aligned here. A little hocus focus. Bing. Wow, that is in focus. Holy smokes. Yeah. All right. Uh, going to go ahead and black balance the camera. This will take it dark for about 12 seconds. This is intentional. Starting now. That's, that's why I asked that question, because I had no idea what goes on with the power supplies here. All done, coming out, thank you. Roger. Full, full wide. Okay, um, uh, if, as long as you guys are okay, Seven zero should be fine. Thirty sixty, yeah, it should be the IP. That's really fast. Okay, I'm gonna move Atalanta. If that's all right. Uh, Seventy meters at one five five. Roger. Go for it. Hydraulics are off again, Josh. Bridge Roger. nav. Yeah. Hello, so step. Seven zero meters bearing one five five. Uh, yes, you can. Thank you. How far up? Four meters. Uh, yeah. Rainy, where yes. Where would, uh, how far are we going? So we're going to the IP, which is this target here, but and then just beyond that is uh, let's see how much farther beyond. But I'm I'm being a bit conservative, only moving Atalanta this far, Roger. which should get us to the IP. But I don't want to overshoot it and mm -hmm. just go to go to the uh, what do you call it the straw afterwards. So I guess I'll wait for Atalanta to get a little bit closer so that she can turn around, Dave. Yep. Yep. Still tight. I'm still getting this. Or I think I am. Maybe I'm not. I've only got 30 meters. So there's plenty of cable. Oh, it's going to take a long time for her to yeah. start yeah. moving. Yeah. Maybe I would rather just pull her a little bit. I almost ate it on the steps. Running, running down. Right? Yeah. Don't run on ships. Don't run on ships. So there should be the tilt meter and accelerometer on the way. So if we find any of those cables, I'll take us CIP. Roger. Yeah, or the hydrophone cable. We'll yeah, so I don't I don't have the hydrophone that. down here on my on my targets. Interesting. There's a hydrophone. It's 59 meters at 53 degrees from the IP. 59 53 Yeah, I don't have that at all in, in uh, the targets that were... Just put a temporary target there. Looks like it's been there since 2020. At least. Tuning in from Munich, y'all. What is going on with Herc? What's wrong? Well, it's pinging. What's, what's up? 
Well, the, it's not. These should be together. I'm moving. You are, and the USBL should be going where you are. Oh, sorry, I understand. Yeah, sorry. So it's like the uh, beacon fell off the sub and sitting on the <laughs> Well, it's definitely not. Well, I mean, I didn't do a proper reset when we were doing that. Do you want to do it now? Well, I just don't know why it's tracking. Is that an octopus? This is totally like an octopus. It sure is. Let's go see it, because we got time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got all sorts of time to image stuff. This doesn't. You sure? That's something. Let's go see. Got an anemone, looks like. Or something. No, that's an octopus looking right at us. Yeah. You can see the head in the back. Uh, yep. There Absolutely. Looks like the same uh, species or family, maybe, that we saw the other day. I know they have three hearts. Watch it start to take the freaking Zeus camera apart. The maybe last thing we see is a controls. beak. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy. Not gonna hurt you. Good for a zoom. Oh, yeah. uh, we're, we're a little room, far off. Good. What's your altitude? Three meters? Two meters? Yeah. I'm coming. We got time. Atlanta's going to take forever to get over here. I suspect this thing only moves quickly for a predation event. I'm sorry, a what event? Yeah. Predation. When it wants okay. its dinner. Can we dumb that down, please? When it's dinner. To time. eat something. Pretty cool. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is a cool looking octopus. Yeah, these ones are tentacles or kind of capish almost. Alright, switching over to this. Do you want a couple of meters out? Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's much much point. I'm just so stretched out because look how far Atalanta is. Is that a giant Pacific octopus? I don't think so. It's too deep. Is it a... Not giant Pacific octopus? <laughs> we <laughs> saw, sure. I think, Pacific one of these the other day. Octopus? Hold on, I have a photo we can compare. No, I don't think so. Although, my photo is of my focusing monitor, so I have to kind of back that what out. I've it? got our guide open, too. Let's see. Looks like that from the side. Cephalopods. Hold on. Yeah, it was in our marine field guide. Uh, do, 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 do. I would say it's this one. The one in eight. front of us? Moose, Moose Octopus Canthalus. No common name. Okay, Ed. Coming in. I think we're too close we now. We have any biologists watching Here, who want to just go all the way in. in. May I? Yeah, go and for it. Oh, no, this uh, looks like a, yeah, granite. Uh, yeah, so the Pacifica. USBL is correct. Yeah, they've really uh, camouflaged their ROV. tentacles there. I just yeah. did some uh, That's awesome. triangle math. And they stirred up the bottom so we couldn't see them. Sure. So I'm going to reset to USBL. Okay. You're out of auto XY. Um, I don't know why the DVL ran off like that. going to come out but the, the review the of the ROV. 34 yeah. all ground and 34 up down. Okay, 48 tether. It's a standoff. I'm going to bring this into 20. Do you have to do you have to change what that thing is doing? Yeah, maybe that. One of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe not. That's that. the bio box. Oh, yeah. So you've got it set yeah. to. No, but I. Look, yeah. Look, it's cool. Yeah, it's one. Of, you you got a Rolodex through. Maybe it's that one. Oh. Yeah. There yeah, you okay, go. We're good. 
I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so then you got to close the starboard by so <laughs> over there. Yeah. All right, full full wide. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. But yeah, you can change what that thing does. Just remember, I'm pushed out. Roger. You guys aren't doing any forward bio box anyway, right? Toolbox? Uh, I don't think there's anything in there. Maybe Parking a couple positions. Positions and stuff, but okay. we're usually pretty good about remembering these days. We're going to need one parking position for this morning. Roger. I'm going off comms for a sec. Roger. There's definitely some interference down here. What's, what's what on? Is, are the other two straws on? Nope, they shouldn't be. Hmm. There's something going on in there. Yeah, to see it in that one too. Must be like multi frequency. I mean, would you pick up like an ADCP that's at the other site? No. No. Videos on comms, can you guys hear me? Yeah. 